Well, hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for April 2024. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Gemini, this is your monthly reading for April. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. And of course, April is going to be a very big and serious month. We can all feel it collectively, but let's really break it down to see why without causing fear and mass panic. Of course, we have moved into airy season and that's all about passion, intensity, that driven energy to focus on your goals and really get stuff done this month. It's gonna be a lot of extra charge and energy around so you can really utilize that to your advantage by tapping into it. So on a personal level, it's actually really, really positive. But of course, there is a total solar eclipse and, you know, that's going to be for parts of Mexico, the USA, Canada, and, you know, some countries also are going to get a a partial solar eclipse there as well. And uh, last time the US had a total solar eclipse was in 2017, and it was in the sign of Leo, which is ruled by the sun itself. Now we all saw the drama of 2017 unfold, especially politically, egos took center stage and major changes like we've never seen before started to be implemented. Eclipses, they're here to shake things up a little bit. And the ancient astrologers considered them a very foreboding energy, bringing major and often uncomfortable change. And I have to say that this eclipse, it will really be no different. It will occur in the sign of Aries, specifically placed on the knot of discord, and that tends to deliver karmic retribution. So we'll see many exposés come to light after this period, clandestine scandals revealed, revelations where people have been mistreated or abused in cover-ups, and on a global scale where humanity has been taken advantage of in certain areas, where whistleblowers have been punished in order to silence them, the truth and justice it shall prevail. Now, from this period onwards, the curtain shall really start to fall on it all. And the placement of an eclipse, it really does matter. Aries energy is a very hot, combative, impulsive energy, and it's ruled by Mars, planet of war. Now, this does not mean that we're heading in that direction. However, we are already seeing some shifts that can lead to potential conflicts further down the line. And I'm not here to spread fear, but I am here to be really honest, direct, and highlight what to expect and prepare for. And we already see some countries declaring the return of conscription to prepare for potential conflict. I do want you to be aware, though, that, um, you know, we can sort of change the future. You know, um, the timeline that we're on at the moment, it can be avoided. So I want you to be aware of that at this time. But of course, all the energy is very hot and intense at this moment in time. So we may see a bit more of an escalation in those areas. But why are there a lot of warnings right now from various sources regarding this particular eclipse? Well, Let's be really practical first. Um, in 2017, people rushed to see the eclipse and various places saw an influx of new people searching for the best viewpoint, which meant population increased in certain areas that were not used to that many people. 
grocery stores, gas stations, etc. They ran out of stock due to that increase. And of course, you know, there was an increase of cell phone activity in rural areas, which meant it jammed the, their grid and the internet actually became impossible to connect to. Now, uh, that's one of the practical reasons why we are being told to prepare. Of course, the eclipse itself, it can be used as a distraction for, um, you know, amplified events or, uh, you know, energy is changed with an eclipse. It can indicate uh, extreme behavior or extreme events occurring. So, you know, just keep your eyes peeled. I'm not saying be paranoid about anything. You know, you know yourself, just uh, keep your wits about you, especially if you're going out to look at the eclipse. I mean, looking at this card, it has the card of uh, courage there. And, you know, it looks like uh, there's a person there kind of like about to watch the eclipse. So if some of you are going out there, of course, use the right glasses, make sure um, that you uh, put yourself in a position to view it safely. Uh, but I would say that's some of the practical reasons why we're being told to prepare. Now let's look spiritually and historically why people are concerned with this particular eclipse. Firstly, it has many connotations with biblical events. Now this particular eclipse, it passes through Jonah and seven cities called Nineveh, which is connected to the biblical story of Jonah and the whale, where Jonah was saved by a sea monster, which is often referred to as a whale. So why is this actually relevant? Well, you know, the sun's position this time round will be directly placed in the constellation Cetus during this eclipse. Astrologically, Cetus is considered the sea monster or the whale. So there are some coincidences there, and I don't really believe in coincidences, but you know, you make up of that what you will. Uh, Nineveh was an ancient city up to no good and is now associated with repentance for wrongdoings. So spiritually, some people are concerned and cautious about the significance of the aftermath of this eclipse, especially with the connection of the collapse of an empire. So uh, my point is, you know, eclipses, they can cause fear, and it is a little bit odd that we have extra services deployed to guard during this period, but it does mean, you know, everybody's focusing their attention on the eclipse it leaves certain areas vulnerable. It's almost like a distraction. So, uh, you know, that could be the reason why we have that. Also, you know, we've had a lot of major solar flares at the moment. So uh, energy is a little bit off, you know, so you could see some power outages or, you know, extreme behavior, technological events happening there as well. So, you know, I feel it's something to just be aware of at this time. You know, um, we are more vulnerable to extreme behavior during an eclipse, but they're actually akin to a tower moment, change, reconstruction, and liberation for second chances. You know, we will see during this time a collapse of long-standing institutions, and this will go on for the next year and a half. Uh, people in long-standing positions stepping down or being forced to resign. Uh, eclipses, they also affect energy in terms of cycles seismic shifts. So there may be an increase in volcanic activity or earthquakes during this time. The earth, it moves all the time, of course, but there is a heightened potential to have more significantly powerful eruptions or shifts during this period. Uh, most notably, and I don't really like to mention this, um, Interesting. Okay, I'm just being given something, so I will uh, sort of mention it now in a moment. But most notably, I am drawn to uh, a particular area, the New Madrid Seismic Zone. We may see some activity in that area from now onwards. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be in and around the 8th of April, but the planetary alignments are the same as they were in 1811-1812. And that's when we saw major disruption and, uh, you know, major eruptions during that period as well that were quite um, destructive. And of course, to top it all off, the devil horned comet is passing by. Of course it is. I mean, why wouldn't it be? And uh, that happened back in 1811 as well. And if that wasn't enough, we also have Mercury retrograde. So, you know, this is going to be a pretty intense time. And eclipses, you know, the energy just doesn't happen for a day. It filters out for the rest of the year because this is such a powerful one. So this is going to be a very, you know, weird kind of end to the year. But um, we may see some electronic interference, power outages, you know, save down any important work. 
you know, download financial statements in case of glitches in the financial system, get a lot of water in, you know, you know the drill. Uh, also check your uh, spam folder. Important mail tends to go to this folder during this period, it could get lost. Also, uh, you may need to chase up um, something that's actually lost in the physical mail if you're expecting something. Um, now I'm also, as I said, I just put that energy to the side. I just um, heard and saw, um, I heard a song, it's like, and it burns, burns, burns the ring of fire, okay? And I saw a ring of fire in the water at the same time. Now, I'm not saying anything is going to happen in that area either, but uh, I just was drawn to it, and that's like in real time. So uh, I just got that message just now. So maybe that's something to keep an eye on as well during this period, or we're going to see heightened activity in those areas. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, moving on, you know, this is a period of misunderstandings. So, uh, you know, we have Mercury retrograde all the time. So it just means things can be a little bit off. It's temporary, but if you've got anything important, going on make sure you get it in writing as proof because you know misunderstandings miscommunications can happen but on a personal level I have to say this eclipse can actually be really positive for you it sees you breaking away from control to march to the beat of your own drum embracing more independence putting your health first and making sure you align with your true north Aries energy stands for establishing yourself and your personal needs and you'll have more energy and motivation to harness that go-getting spirit to transform your life and create more opportunity for success whatever success looks like for you because it's going to be different for everybody of course now, of course, Chiron, also the wounded healer, makes itself known during this period. And you can make progress in your health during this time, especially if you've been struggling or suffering with something. So that's coming through there as well. Also, we have on the 20th of April, you know, Uranus and Jupiter, they uh, pretty much get together and cause a little bit of havoc. So you could have some shocks or surprises going on during this period, but Jupiter is actually really positive. It's for good luck, expansion, and opportunity, and Uranus is all about causing trouble and muscling in. So, you know, um, expect the unexpected especially at the end of the month there too. Your first card there is the Devil card. Now, the Devil card is not an evil card. This is your protagonist energy. So it means you're leading with your passions this month. You know, you've got the uh, Three of Wands there and the Hierophant. So you're really kind of looking at things that you've established in your life right now and seeing how you can breathe new perspectives into it, how you can, you know, revamp something or uh, maybe, you know, get that lustful life back in some way. I also see with the devil card, you're looking at things that have been toxic for you or not really good for you. Things that you feel bonded to, bad habits, or, you know, perhaps people who try to impede your progress or even, you know, toxic people, toxic situations, environments, things that you feel that you've been helpless to change. You're really going to look at these things this month because, you know, the Hierophant indicates you're going to really learn about these things. What has a hold on you? Who has a hold on you? Is there someone that you're really... Um, you know, attracted to, for example, there's a lot of chemistry there, but you know this person's not really good for you. I feel like with the Hierophant there, you're learning more about these situations that have control over you in order to process them or change them in a different way or even approach them in a different way. So for example, and this is weird that it's coming through, but I have to give it because it's coming through. For some of you, you may have had like intense cravings for like chocolate, right? But actually your body is saying, I need more magnesium. It could be that something you're craving or something that you know, perhaps if you have too much of it, because a little bit of what you fancy is always nice, right? Uh, I feel like you may be looking at the alternative. What is your body trying to say that it needs that we have now associated with something that gives us the quick fix? Because the devil card is a card of the quick fix. So some of you are looking at that, um, you know, but trying to have a more sort of healthy spin. And I'm not, you know, putting a downer on chocolate. I'm just saying, you know, trying to highlight an area or, uh, you know, basically give you an idea of how you're going to look at something that you feel perhaps you crave or you feel is not good for you and ask yourself why is it you're craving it or uh, what kind of hold it has on you because looking at your chart we have the judgment card we have the world you're ending this cycle you're deciding no it no longer has control over you the devil card as I said it's not an evil card it actually highlights where we feel stuck 
So it's actually really positive and we all experience it on our journey in life. So some of you, you know, you're looking at recovery. You may be uh, right now recovering from an abusive situation and now you are taking stock to stand back and really look at it, really analyze it and see what you can learn from it. For some of you, it's that you're in recovery from substance abuse and you're really looking at uh, you know, the trigger points of why you reach for that substance in the first place. Some of you are looking at traumatic experiences that you had so that you can heal them and that they no longer have power over your happiness. This is a really big month for you with this card. And um, with this card also, I mean, I am getting an energy here that there is someone that you may have been connected to in the past, or maybe they're in your present right now. I'm not really sure. I'm just getting a sense here of someone that perhaps you wanted to commit to at some point. They're very tempting. They present temptation to you. This person, especially since we got Mercury retrograde, there is a high potential. This person tries to reach out, um, but there's something about this person you don't trust. It's almost like they know that they're under your skin in some way, and um, they almost like use that to their advantage. Don't get me wrong, this person is highly attracted to you. There may even be a trauma bond with this person, um, but I feel like you're trying to be stronger and say, this is my healthy boundary. You cross it, you have no access to my life anymore. So I feel some of you are getting closure on this person, but the judgment card can indicate this person wants second chances, or you're judging a situation to see if this person deserves a second chance in your life. Ultimately, with the world card being your last card, it indicates you decide that actually you're healthier away from this person or this situation. So I feel like you are distancing yourself from this and really reestablishing your power in a situation. Now, for some of you, you may be in a working environment and it's toxic and you're looking for alternative um, you know, experiences, opportunities elsewhere. Three of Wands there, it's like you're looking further afield. You want something else that is a little bit more stable, is it more healthy for you. So I definitely see that you are gonna disconnect from this. I actually see a new contract coming in. So if you're looking for work, um, or you're putting your resume out there, there is an opportunity to join a company that is long standing. And the judgment card indicates it's more in alignment with your calling. The world card indicates you're going to be very successful at this, but it also feels like you're coming home in some way. So you're going to be in the right place at the right time to meet this opportunity. The universe is lining this up for you. So I feel like you're going to grab this opportunity with both hands. So if you are currently looking for something new, even if you're currently out of work, if you feel that you know um, the job market has been really hard and you haven't been able to find an opportunity and you're starting to get really nervous or worried because this card is a card of anxiety or fear, uh, I feel like, you know, your fears will be allayed. I definitely see have faith. I definitely see some sort of like managerial role or, um, you know, I feel whatever it is you're being offered is a step up from where you were before. And also there's more money, but there's also more potential to earn even more. You will move through the ranks in this role. So I definitely see that there is room for growth. For some of you, if you're in a career and you feel like you've hit a glass ceiling and you're a little bit nervous about uh, finding new opportunities, I feel like you're someone who's very established at what you do. Um, I feel like, you know, you're so good at what you do, so talented that you could actually teach. So some of you may think about becoming a mentor or you may actually like create something online of what you do to inform others and actually make money from it. So some of you may like set up like a social media platform or a course of learning that just ticks over on like a website um, where people can learn. They may go to you for your course that you create and it brings in some finances as passive income. So I definitely see some of you may be thinking about that at this time. But ultimately, I feel like you're looking at things where uh, you feel bonded to them, that they're not really positive or that they have a hold on you that you're tempted to connect to. And also I'm getting the sense here of you like feeling nervous or feeling fear in some way, but feeling the fear and doing it anyway. I see you overcoming something. Some of you, it could be that you're challenging yourself to overcome a fear of heights or a fear of spiders or a fear of something. It almost feels like some of you are going, right, okay, I'm going to challenge myself right now. So I feel the month of April could be something where you challenge yourself in a really positive way there. Um, now I'm just seeing if I get anything more from this devil card because the devil card, 
I feel for some of you, there's this energy of you kind of identifying something that you've been worried about, but actually you find that there was nothing to worry about at all, okay? So I, I definitely see that's happening for you there and it's really positive. But also I feel this is you leading the month with your passions. You're gonna be very goal-oriented this month. I would say, you know, whether you're in a career or not, I would say don't burn yourself out because I feel like this energy of you being exhausted, you've got low energy. If you're not feeling it, take a step back and just pause, reflect, or recharge your batteries and get good quality rest because you'll have the energy the next day and you can go after your goals and dreams. You know, the world can be one another day. Sometimes when your body is crying out for a rest, let it have a rest. Otherwise, it will make you have a rest. You'll either come down with a seasonal cold or something worse and, you know, your body will say enough is enough because I feel like a lot of you have been very, very busy. You know, the devil card, along with the world card, it can present as someone who is a bit of a workaholic or has been channeling all their time and energy into doing stuff whilst you are inadvertently, and maybe not even on a conscious level, running away from something that you really need to sit with and think about for some time. So if the pressure has been on recently, maybe you've been going through some sort of challenge, or uh, perhaps there's been some conflict, and you've been trying to channel your energy into other things so that you just don't focus on the thing that has been worrying you or upsetting you in some way, sometimes, you know, it can come back bigger. Um, you know, if you've been through something really traumatic recently, or if you're healing from a bereavement or an unwellness, I'm sending you a huge hug out there. Whatever you've been going through, you know, sometimes we have to sit with it in order to process it, in order to release it and let it go. And I see a lot of you doing that this month as well. Now, the Three of Wands, um, this is a card of expectation planning stages of something. Some of you are, you know, really strategizing your next steps, but also the Three of Wands is looking further afield, looking beyond the situation, because the Devil card can indicate some of you are just feeling really stuck. Something's changed. You may not even know what has changed. I mean, the last couple of years, because you have the World card there, the energy has changed in the last three and a half years. You know, things have got really crazy. You know, the heat is really amplified on this level of weird craziness and you may be feeling it. You're an empath. You know, you have the high priestess there and, you know, you also have the hierophant. So you are someone who, you know, you pick up energy and you may be feeling that something is off, but still you don't really know what is off. And you may be like in search of that thing that you feel is missing because the three of wands can be to search for something that missing ingredient it could be more fun more spontaneity some of you may feel that in your desire to you know release drama and live a more peaceful life you can be like wow things are getting pretty dull and boring now so what next so it feels very much like when you're on the precipice of an epiphany or a revelation or even a spiritual awakening things can feel really stuck boring and like dull you know and it's almost like where's the drama at because the ego kind of craves drama it craves you know all this chaos to make it feel alive so Sometimes you may be battling with that. And, you know, I know that uh, I'm a Scorpio. Many years ago, I really battled with that. I was someone who had like a crazy lifestyle, very chaotic. I met chaotic people, people who did not value my presence. And I almost, you know, lost myself in all that as well. Um, I also did not have high self-esteem then. But when I decided that I want a more peaceful life, suddenly things started to get a little bit like... Oh, this is nice. This is peaceful. Yeah, but like there's nothing happening right now. So um, what am I going to do about that? And it's almost like the ego starts to crave. So then I would be tempted to reach out to people that either I knew were not very good for me or exes that I thought, mm, they're challenging. They're kind of exciting to be with, but they actually just use and then they're gone. So it was like this ego kind of screaming out saying I want excitement and drama but I feel like you're choosing with the hierophant there a healthier excitement and drama 
I hope that makes sense to somebody because it's a really weird thing to come out there. So some of you may be dealing with that right now because the worst thing to a beautiful Gemini is boredom. Okay, and this is a card that indicates for some of you, you've got to a certain level where you're feeling stuck right now and you're kind of like looking out there to see what else is out there and is exciting. So I feel like you're focusing on your projects during this time, but also on a spiritual level, you're trying to keep life interesting and making progress. Now, some of you, you know, um, you're really looking forward to travel, a trip. I mean, your 11th house is governing you at this time. That's all about your hopes and wishes, your manifestations. So they are stronger than usual. Set an intention and watch the universe deliver people, opportunities and situations to help you. And some of you may actually feel a little bit more sociable during April, um, especially at the beginning of the month. You may have desire to connect to social circles or network for business. Uh, also, the internet works really well for you at this time. Just don't use it in and around the uh, eclipse because there may be some, um, you know, uh, power outages or that the internet just isn't working as usual. Um, but also if you're launching an online business, it's going to be really, really lucrative for you there as well. But the three of wands is you really checking in with where you're at right now and where you need to be. Some of you are wondering, are you on the right path? And when you get the three of wands, it really indicates that yes, you are on the right path. Okay. This is an expansion of opportunities, a fullness of creativity and achievement. So I feel like you have your eye on a goal and you will reach it. I feel like you're on the right path to, you know, get that abundance or get that opportunity or whatever it is and trust in yourself and your visions because you're making really good choices for yourself. Even though there's moments of temptation, you know, as long as you feel in control of that temptation, as I said, a little bit of what you fancy, I'm sure is okay. You know, do your thing, live your life. But with the three of wands, I feel like you're kind of looking elsewhere. You're trying to avoid the toxic situations or move away from anything that's toxic at this time because the Hierophant indicates you're learning more about yourself and your own needs. But also, this is a card of having faith. So I definitely see, I mean, some of you may actually go into an arena where you help people through addictions or where you actually, you know, uh, really learn about addictions. Some of you are actually learning more about your passions during this time, channeling excess energy into hobbies or creative endeavors or through sports or just healthy ways to get that excess energy out. Now, also the Hierophant, some of you may feel compelled to study during this time. I'm Really getting an energy that some of you may have started studying something, uh, a course, and you feel like it's not really pushing the buttons. It's not really stretching you or challenging you in the way that you'd hoped for, because I feel like you kind of know a lot of the stuff that's on this course. So I feel like some of you may book an alternative course during this time, or it could be that you go to the intermediate course there, because um, I feel like something... <laughs> it hasn't been fulfilling. So if you are, I just feel like a change of study happening here. So uh, some of you may launch that change of study or you may finish the course of study that you're on and just book the intermediate one immediately because you feel there's more to learn. And the other course, it set a foundation that you already know. It didn't almost like touch the sides as it were. Now, of course, the Hierophant is also a card of a mentor. So some of you, you know, you are a natural mentor, but also I feel some of you could be finding someone who gives you a really important piece of information this month. I also get a sense here that with the Devil card and the Hierophant, some of you are looking at people in positions of authority and how you have a healthy mistrust. It's almost like you're trying to see beyond what is given to you. So if someone says, oh, look, I've given you a benefit, you're like, hmm, what's behind, you know, the other hand? It's almost like, I'm giving you this. Isn't it wonderful? Take this. And you're like, what's, what's, what's over here, though? I don't trust what you're giving me here. Why are you giving me this? So I feel this energy of you, like, seeing below subtext this month. Uh, I feel like you do that normally. You're very intuitive there. But with the high priestess in this position, there's something you don't trust, something you're keeping your eye on. Um, and the Hierophant can represent establishments. Also, I see that some of you, you know, there's a certain way of doing things that we are told by society. You know, grow up, go to college, you know, get into debt with your college degree, uh, you know, go into the working environment and nine to five. Some of you are going, you know what, actually, I'm a little bit like, 
not into conforming. I want to be original. I want to do something different. You're bucking a trend. You're being maverick. So some of you may decide during the month of April that you want to launch something that's different, that's not traditional, because it feels that something traditional for you is just making you feel stuck or it feels really conventional, but it doesn't meet your expectations. So some of you it could be that you're launching an entrepreneurship or you're working for yourself or you're finding a new way of doing something. For example, if you're a screenwriter, right, uh, and you're highly creative, but you feel it's a very closed business and um, there's a lot of nepotism there and there may be lots of signs saying, do not send your unsolicited scripts or whatever, you may find a really maverick way to get in the door. And, you know, I feel it's like you're bucking a trend. You know, there are rules that are made there to be broken. I'm not saying that you're going to go out there and break the rules, but I see that you're actually bending them to benefit you in a really honest and legal way is what I see here. So I feel some of you are doing something differently because you're feeling a little bit stuck in your circumstances. And I mean, if you transfer that to like a working environment, it could be like Beryl from Accounts always says, you can't do that. It's not done that way. We always do it this way. You should be doing it this way. And you're like, Sit down, Beryl, actually, this is quicker and, you know, it makes more time for other things and that way, you know, you can move on to bigger, brighter, funner projects. So I feel like, you know, you're owning it this month and it actually sets you up for promotion if you're in a career sector uh, or you're an entrepreneur. I definitely see people in your industry are going to notice you for what you do. Now, on a personal level, this is more about you looking at bad habits, you know, trying to move away from those things. For some of you, um, you may be wondering if you're ever going to get married. You know, uh, some of you are wondering, um, you know, if you'll ever find someone to settle down with. If you're looking for love, I feel actually someone has a secret crush on you. Um, and this person, they actually dream of marrying you. Um, but with the judgment card and the world card, I feel like you're going to meet someone that you don't know. Okay, I feel like you're going to meet someone new and you may meet this person traveling. Okay, but um, I get a sense here. I mean, you could also meet this person on a course of study. And this course of study may be across the world or it may be connected to other worldly uh, countries. So it could be like you're studying a new language or uh, that you are learning about the history or culture of a different country. So I feel some of you are actually doing something really different, really niche is what I'm being given, and it sets you up to meet someone new if you're looking for love. Um, also, some of you may be worried, uh, with the Hierophant there and the World card, some of you may be worried about uh, retiring, and you're just seeing that things are very volatile right now, and you're wondering, you know, is this the right time? I feel like you're in a really good position, and uh, I feel you may also get some advice from someone who has retired um, to like avoid the pitfalls or perhaps get some advice on like pension providers or um, how to deal with you know the fact that your schedule is going to be different from other people's schedule, so you'll uh, find yourself you know um, having a lot more time to do your projects, but your other friends may not retire at the same time. So you may feel a little bit out of kilter. So I feel like you're going to find your soul tribe there, but at the same time, you may actually like look at things online of um, how certain people have entered like a new stage of their life. We all enter different stages of life because uh, I feel like you're going through a stage of something right now and um, you're going to really enjoy it, whatever it is. But at first you may be a little bit hesitant to move into it. So it could be that some of you are relocating and you're hesitant because you're moving to a new environment, new neighborhood, but then you're going to really love it. You're really going to fit in and plant roots there. For some of you, it could be that you're moving into a new job. For some of you, you're actually embracing a new health regime and you're a little bit uncertain about it. It may make you feel a bit cranky at first, but at the same time, I definitely see that it will be beneficial for you there as well. I do see, because you have the Devil card and the Strength card, along with the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess, it tells me that some of you may deal with a very difficult person this month. This person could be a neighbor, could be a, a family member, um, it could be a boss, it could be someone who is um, basically very stubborn. Uh, this person 
I feel there's a bit of envy there with this person. Uh, they're abusing their power in a situation. So it almost feels like they look at you like you have everything that they ever wanted. But you're like, do you know how hard it is for me to have this lifestyle or maintain, you know, the life that I've got right now? You work really hard for it, my beautiful Gemini. But I feel there's someone here who they just don't put in the effort or the work and they kind of expect to have what you have in some way. This person, they may cause a few problems or they may be a bit of a argument that comes to a bit of a climax in the month of April. The pressure is on with this person and I feel like they're acting out because they're really not happy with their own life. They're almost projecting onto you. Um, you know, of course you're gonna stand your ground, but I definitely see that you could be dealing with that. I mean, if you're an entrepreneur, it could be a client where you feel like you're not really gonna bite your tongue because you'd rather uh, you know, have a client that you can work with and gel with. You don't want someone causing trouble for you. Um, I feel like you're not allowing fear or, um, you know, some clients, they could have like a behavior of uh, almost threatening, like I'll leave if I don't get the service I want. And you're like, okay, close the door on your way out because life is too short to be dealing with people like you. So I really get a sense of you kind of like addressing an issue in a very professional way or in a controlled manner is what I see because it has the potential to be volatile is what I see there. So it could be a bit of an argument. It's almost like you're taking the higher ground. Like, you know what, I hear you and I see you, but you know, I'm rising above this in some way. Now, this card, the strength card in the resistance position, is definitely telling me that some of you have been neglecting your own needs, that you're going to rekindle a relationship with yourself and really address self-care. Um, I also feel, you know, you've been struggling with something, whatever this is, and I feel like you managed to find a solution to this in the month of April there. Um, I get a sense here that strength is called for. Strength, patience, um, calmness is called for in a situation. It's I, Again, I keep just getting this energy that you're gonna rise above it. Also in the water I'm seeing right now, um, an image, cause I'm scrolling at the same time as doing your reading, I'm seeing an image of um, someone lighting a candle. So, I mean, this could be that you are, um, you know, implementing some sort of ritual for something, but I actually see like a candle being lit uh, as an homage to somebody, you know, lighting a candle for somebody. So I feel some of you could be celebrating um, or remembering an anniversary of someone who has passed, okay? Um, this person is still with you and is going to give you lots of signs that they are around. Now, really weird. Uh, one is I'm being given scent, okay? So it could be that suddenly you smell like an aftershave or perfume that they used to wear. It's gonna be, um, you know, really brief. You're gonna be like, it's a memory immediately. You're gonna know that this person's around, but also I'm being shown, and this may not resonate with anybody out there, but I have to give you what I can see. I'm being shown like a very long kind of like, I don't think it's silk, but it m might be kind of like it, uh, a really long like piece of material. Uh, I would like hazard a guess that it's like a, a scarf or a cravat or something. It's like just this long piece of material. I can't really discern what it is. So yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that there with respect. I'm just gonna see and tap in if I've got any other images that will kind of indicate that this person's presence there. Uh, they know that you're lighting a candle for them and they, um, they're they smiling with so much joy when you do it. Um, I've just been given that when you cry, they cry with you is what I've just heard. Um, let me see if I can see any images. Okay, it's like a button or some sort of badge or brooch. It's got like um, some sort of emblem on it. I would say it looks like a button actually, because um, I can't see the back. It looks like a button that's got something embossed on the button. It almost looks like a brass button or something. It's kind of like off. It's like in between brass and silver. I can't quite see. It's like, uh, yeah, so I'm being shown that. So either you're gonna find one of those and it's like a little sign for you to let you know that they're around or it's something that already means something to you that's coming out there as well. With respect, I'm gonna move away from the energy, but this person is around you, okay? So, um, and they see you light that candle. So um, I'm gonna move away from that and send so much love and hugs to you. Um, now, 
This card, it will go into the upright, so the majority of my beautiful Gemini out there, you're going to feel more energy. Um, this tenacity to be a go-getting spirit. I feel there's this like, hear me roar happening in the month of April for you. You're getting a bit of a bird's eye view from, uh, you know, your life, looking at your plans, your strategies, and I feel like you're not allowing any distractions this month. You're going to be very productive, uh, you're going to focus on your goals, and you're going to achieve your goals, and I definitely see you learning something about yourself, about your strength and about your sense of resolve in the month of April as well. Now, Queen of Pentacles, it's in the resistance position at first, so some of you may be worried about money right now, okay? You may feel that something isn't working or something isn't, you know, um, reciprocal, so you may be doing a lot of hard work and you feel like your money is plateaued or it's not, you know, going as far as you had hoped for, but this card, it will turn into the upright at the end of April or mid to late April is what I see there. That increases your money. There is going to be a financial increase there. I mean, for some of you, it could be in your pension. There could be a fluctuation there where your pension increases by a considerable amount that you may be surprised about. Uh, for some of you, it could be a bonus or a promotion coming in, or it could be some sort of rebate that comes in there as well. But the Queen of Pentacles in this position indicates that you're being really practical about your life right now. You're focusing on your plans, you're committed, you're down to earth, and you're using your resources wisely. Some of you may have overspent a little bit last month, but this month's gonna be different. I feel like you're gonna be able to save a little bit more. Also, I see that there's going to be some people who can help you in your endeavors. So if you're uh, trying to get more involved in the community, you could meet someone there who's like, yeah, come along to this group. They're really cool and you could learn a lot from this group or um, you could uh, benefit this group by your presence, so come and join us. Uh, for some of you, it could be that there are friends in high places and someone comes to help you out in something there as well. But the Queen of Pentacles, there's normally a bunny rabbit on the Queen of Pentacles, which indicates multiplying finances um, and you know, basically making sure that not only you, but also your family are taken care of and secure. So I definitely see that you know, that is happening there. Your sixth house really connects to this. Your sixth house actually influences you from the middle of April onwards, and that's really about your daily routines, schedules, focusing on work, paying bills, savings plans, budgets, repayment plans, and generally responsibilities and tasks. This house, sometimes it feels a little bit dull and boring, like nothing's happening, but actually it's really important. It keeps your life running smoothly with simplicity, so you can focus on more exciting things in your life as well. Also, you can be more focused on your health, okay? Some of you may restart that uh, health regime, as I mentioned there, but also you can be paying close attention to your sleeping patterns in the month of April, because some of you, something may have been on your mind and it's been like, waking you up at weird hours or that you have been getting, you know, full night's sleep, but it just doesn't feel restful. So you may be looking at that as well there. Also, some of you, um, you know, it may be a period where um, you're having to factor in, if you're a parent, that it is the school holidays and, you know, you may feel a little bit pushed and pulled in different directions. You know, I definitely see the pressure is on, you know, you're enjoying your time and nurturing your family, but at the same time, you want to catch a break. You will be able to do that. Some of you may be going away on a trip and you're trying to get everything done and you just feel like extra pressure there. You will tie up loose ends if you're about to go on a vacation or uh, you're about to travel there, um, I do see that you're going to enjoy it. But you may see that actually you've spent uh, quite a bit of money on this. Don't worry, the money will be replenished. So just enjoy yourself. Money is, of course, important. It pays the bills. But, you know, sometimes we can hold on to money for that rainy day. And of course, we do need it. You know, there are rainy days to come for all of us at some point. Uh, but it's really important to also live in the moment and enjoy yourself because we're never guaranteed the next day. We gotta live in the now. I don't see anything untoward happening here for you, but what I do see here is a change of perspective where you're trying to see what else is out there, to you know really enjoy that lust for life and you know secure yourself along the way. We do have the High Priestess, some of you may be launching something behind the scenes, you know, keeping something secret to yourself. It could be that you've got some extra savings that you're just putting away for a rainy day that I mentioned. For some of you, it could be that you're secretly working on a project that um, is going to be very lucrative there. 
Some of you, not all of you, you may be pregnant at this time and you're not actually deciding to uh, release that information until you feel ready to or until you feel that you've had the right scans um, that indicate everything's heading in the right direction there. Uh, the High Priestess, you know, it is a card that's mute. So it can be that you're keeping some information to yourself, but I feel this is healthy. Keeping your ideas to yourself until you feel it's the right time to reveal them. Also, I feel this is a highly spiritual time for you. You're gonna do a lot of soul searching. Remember your 11th house? Thoughts become things, focusing on your manifestations. But also some of you may feel compelled to, you know, nestle down with a documentary on the unknown. You may feel a little bit more inclined to delve into the occult during this time. Maybe even book yourself in for a personal one-on-one -on -one tarot reading. I don't do those, but uh, you may actually book yourself in for one or have one booked. Um, I feel it's really important to listen to this person, what they have to say, because I feel like they give you some truths there. Um, also, some of you, you know, you may decide to implement some sort of spiritual rituals, meditation, or something that helps bring peace of mind during this time as well. Um, but I also feel like some of you, you're going to discover a secret in the month of April, okay? And actually it's something intuitively you knew already, but you're just waiting for that person or that situation to reveal itself. And you know, this tells you that your intuition is on point. So don't ever mistrust it. Sometimes we're given um, very difficult situations to deal with. You know, a person close to you may tell you uh, a little fib or you may discover something about somebody, but deep down you knew it. Sometimes people come into our lives to teach us about how strong our intuition is, how strong our hunches are. They are ushered into our life for a brief time. And yes, their lessons may be hard or painful, but they are an indication that we should have trusted our own intuition from the very beginning. So if you're dealing with someone who has hidden something from you or you uh, have something revealed that you perhaps knew already, it's an indication of how on point your intuition is, so trust it. Now your outcome energy, we have the emperor. So for a majority of you who are in the career environment, this is a promotion. I definitely see you leveling up in your career sector. Also, I feel like, you know, this is a card of responsibility. If you're not in the career sector or you are in the career sector, I see that you have a lot of tasks and responsibilities on your shoulders. And that's why there's this energy of um, trying to compartmentalize so that you do have balance and have fun or a little bit more spontaneity there. The Emperor is a card of being really serious. This is uh, an indication that some of you are gonna get really strict about your budget. You know, you're gonna implement different uh, regimes or routines in order to streamline your time so that you don't waste it. But also it's about intense focus. It's about accomplishing whatever it is you set out to do and having that strength. You're someone who is maturing, you're learning about yourself and you are establishing yourself as someone who is really good at what you do and you know, also someone who has learned to protect yourself against the nonsense of life and people's BS sometimes. I mean, we've got the shield there, which indicates you have a lot of knowledge that is going to protect you in situations that have the potential to knock another person down. So I do see that you're in a really good position there as well. But the history of the Emperor energy, there was always a fool in the background of the Emperor card because it was a little reminder that life, it gets serious. Life, it gets tough. You know, we're all focused on our goals. We have tunnel vision on something that we want to achieve, but we must make sure that we make more me time or we have more fun. You know, sometimes we need to lighten up a little bit and enjoy the experience, live in the moment. And I feel, have faith, you know, things are going to work in your favor. Now, uh, again, we've got the Hierophant here. So this is, uh, you know, the Hierophant twice for you. So big learning month. You're going to learn more about yourself, about other people, about environments. You're going to learn about uh, what you have to offer, that you are a gift in your everyday circumstances. Also, some of you are getting married during this month. So uh, major congratulations to you. This is going to be a wonderful relationship. Um, and I feel, you know, there's gonna be a wonderful honeymoon attached to that as well when you decide to take it, because I see some of you putting that honeymoon in delay, uh, but others going straight for it. Uh, so, you, you know, enjoy uh, the moment. 
this is all about your love and devotion towards each other. Uh, but also this is about your belief system. Okay, um, I feel some of you may unlock a door that you feel has been shut off to you for quite some time. I also feel like you have friends in high places. I think I um, kind of maybe mentioned that, or if I didn't, I should. I feel like you got friends in high places who uh, may give you a, an incredible piece of information during the month of April that will really help you. This could be something as simple as, um, you know, how to get a good deal or a bargain somewhere, but it could also be major, like something to do with your pension or something to do with uh, the community or something to do with real estate or friendships, you know, I feel it was a big piece of information coming for you that will really help you and your position. Um, now also, the Hierophant energy, I feel like you're going to be highly creative. So some of you may set something up that you've been meaning to set up for quite some time. I see a lot of decluttering going on. I feel there's this peace of mind happening where you're creating a sanctuary, maybe even implementing, as I said, those rituals for uh, meditation. But ultimately, I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself and the things that control you. Like sometimes, you know, I feel um, I need to step away from my mobile phone, my cell phone, right? Because I feel like uh, sometimes I'm drawn into it. It tempts me with all those funny reels with cats and, you know, and suddenly an hour has passed and I'm like, what, what, where did that go? I know where it went. I got sucked into those funny reels. And that's, you know, sometimes it can take the pressure off. It's really nice to look at. But at the same time, it's also like, what is more important? Could I have used that time elsewhere doing something that's been going to benefit me? You know, so I feel some of you are looking at things that you feel may control you or tempt you that waste your time or is not good for you because I feel this month for you in particular is all about focus. Um, now we do have the judgment card, your focus on your true calling, your true north. The judgment card is really about making some decisions that will benefit you in the future. It's really also about getting clarity, making a final decision to cut something out, but also it's your wake up call. Okay, so some of you are like almost shaking yourself back onto your path in some way. I do feel like you're on the right path, but sometimes distractions, they get in the way. And uh, I feel some of you, when you get into a monotonous cycle, it can just feel like you're stuck or you're wading through mud. But something in April is going to change for you and you're leaving it behind. And suddenly you've got a new lease of life. For some of you, you could locate like a substance that you've been uh, taking or, you know, enjoying that has just been draining your energy. For some of you, it could be a person or an environment that has just been draining your energy and you're like, I got to get away from this. So I definitely see that you're going to shift your life. You know, in the traditional right away tarot, figures, they leap out of coffins on the uh, traditional uh, judgment card there, that means that they are ready to leave their old life behind. They are ready to follow their true calling and believe that it will happen. And that's when they change their everyday circumstances. So I definitely see some of you are literally going, I've had enough of this. I got to change something and you change it for the better. But I feel there's a bit of a fork in the road for you where you have to make that decision that benefits you. Because I feel like some of you, you've been neglecting your own needs and now you're focused on what it is that you really need and desire. We also have the world card. So travel coming up there for you. I would say with the judgment card and the travel, some of you are thinking of either flying or sailing. So you may have an option there. I mean, it could be that you're going to take a road trip. I feel like you've got an option of how to get somewhere and you may have to take an alternative route. Okay, I don't like giving that message, but I feel some of you, it could be that, for example, you're told by a governing body or an alternative figure with the Hierophant there that uh, the advice is don't take this route, take the other route. I mean, looking at the overarching energy with the... Um, Hierophant and the Emperor there, I would say on this occasion, take the advice. You know, if for example, um, you would normally take a left and they're telling you take a right, I would take their advice. Could be that they know something you don't or that there is like a, a blockage of some sort. So yeah, take the advice in that circumstance. Um, because I feel like there's a little bit of a detour going on for you there. Um, also the world card, 
this is an indication some of you are thinking about emigrating or looking at where you feel like you belong in the world. And also some of you are judging the world, what's going on at the moment, and trying to find out how you can help in your own patch of the world. Because you're here to make the world a better place, raising your vibrations, doing what you do. Um, and, you know, I see some of you wanting to go into areas where you help people or help the world in some way. Also, the world card indicates, you know, being very goal oriented and reaching your goals. So I definitely see you're going to be very productive during this time. I feel a lot of you are going to return to projects that you haven't finished and you will finish them in the month of April. Some of you, there's this energy of um, permanence, wanting to establish roots. I definitely see that that will happen there for you as well. Um, but I feel there's a lesson that has been repeating in your life and you're going to really kind of notice it this month in April. You're going to really look at it and go, hang on a minute. Last time I learned this lesson was with this person and now it's showing up again and again and again in different areas or different ways. I feel like that's finally coming to an end. So if you tended to meet people who took advantage of your kindness, that was to establish a higher boundary and recognize that you are good enough to accept good behavior only and, you know, uh, basically shut out anyone who is abusing their power in a situation or not respecting you. So I feel, you know, look at the experiences, the lesson that you are learning from it, because I feel like it's going to be very beneficial there. I mean, the three of wands, some of you are just plain old looking forward to having a break and you will have it. I definitely see that happening there for you. Um, thank you so much for it, guys, Gordon Angels. Can you please guide? My beautiful Gemini, what do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Can you please show them the way? What are they meant to see? Okay. So we have in your power. And again, just like I mentioned at the beginning, this is about reestablishing your power. Anything that's got a hold over you, you're disconnecting from it. Um, this is also about, you know, erecting those healthier boundaries. It says living from an empowered place, cultivating your inner strength and taking back your power. I definitely see that. You know, I am getting an energy before I move on. Some of you are dealing with a person who no matter what you do, it's never enough. They may always judge you or they may always try to call you out on something or they may always make their, um, you know, expectations known. I feel like you're now sort of going, you know what, no matter what I do, it's never enough. So now I'm just going to do what I want to do. And that's the best way to be because this is your life. It's not their life, it's yours. So however you live your life, the only person who can judge it is you. So I feel that's definitely something that's coming back uh, around in this reading for you. I've also got perspective, change the meaning of the issue, experiences shaping perspective and reflection for change. So I definitely see you are making some major changes there. Um, I mean, some of you may see some reshuffle of um, a business. I feel like someone who used to work in a business actually returns. So this could be a boss or a CEO, someone who stepped down. They may actually be reshuffled and come back to the firm. Uh, that's come through there as well. Um, for some of you, it could also be someone who left a neighborhood. They returned to the neighborhood. They were not happy where they left to. They're, they're deciding to come back. So uh, we've also got foundation. Focus on the foundational skills. Build a solid foundation and making lasting changes. Yeah, something that has not been right for you is coming to an end. You're letting it go. Even if it's something you invested in for quite some time, you're not actually failing at it or giving up at it. You're actually evolving away from it and recognizing that you're happier elsewhere. So uh, these could be transferable skills or a decision that you make that is indicating that you're on the right path. You're doing what is right for you. Okay, I'm just going to go and get some final cards before we close. we have you're stepping into a brand new chapter okay as you can see there's like a space shuttle on there so that indicates that you're going above and beyond or outside your usual parameters there okay you're exploring new ways of living and um 
I definitely see that uh, some of the things that you're attaching yourself to at this time are taking off. So I feel sky's the limit for you. And we've also got forgiveness sets you free. It keeps you from hanging on to what was never meant to be. Okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we don't have to forgive a person. Okay. Because they're not worthy of forgiveness because, you know, they did something horrific. But the forgiveness comes from setting yourself free. You know, I always try myself to forgive a situation, not forget, because that's when I take the lesson with me. But forgiveness actually, you know, it releases all the pressure and the attachment to what happens so that you can live your life, enjoy it, and it no longer has power over your future happiness. So forgiveness, you know, forgiveness, if you don't forgive, uh, you know, it's almost like holding on to the poison and, you know, expecting the other person to be affected by it, but actually you're the only one who's hurting yourself by holding on to it. That person's they've gone off and lived their life and they're probably not even thinking about it. You know, some people are that selfish, but it's really important to set yourself free. Sometimes you gotta release the chain and then you open yourself up to a brand new world. So I'm just gonna go and get a trinket or a rune for you. We've actually got two runes here. Um, so your first one there is Well, it's actually the wind rune. At first I thought it was the thorn one, but it's actually um, the wind rune. And this is harmony. It's blessings coming in, joy, affection, uh, desires being met, but also winds of change. And I feel like you are changing some things uh, that are going to really benefit you. Uh, also in the reverse, it can be that you're identifying addictions or patterns that you fall into that perhaps do not benefit you long-term. could also indicate miserable people who are never gonna be happy and that you cannot please those people. So you may as well step away from it and please yourself, right? Um, I don't see you as a people pleaser at all, my beautiful Gemini, but there may be someone who you deeply care about and you just wish it was different, but it's not. And it's not your job to fix this situation or fix this person, okay? Um, you can only do you. And that is your superpower because you're very unique. Also, we've got the sun ruin there. So that's all about awakening. It's about positivity, success, joy. Uh, but it's also about victory, clear vision, really seeing things as they truly are and achieving what it is that you set out to on the path. Uh, also, this ruin, it can connect to the home space, creating a sanctuary, uh, creating a fresh new uh, place where it just feels like you can have a breath of fresh air. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Gemini, and love and light.